Welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is going to be episode two. So the first things first is we have a new pet. He is done. Let's get him out of here. Boom. Let's get him placed down too. I'm so excited about this. It's my first time having one of these turtle dudes. Shellbacks things, what they're called. Oh, he can carry quite a bit too. That's nice. Let's go ahead and get some food in him. He should be good to go that way. We're going to take him out fighting today. See how we can do with him. And then the other thing I did get set up is I do have everything I need. So as you can see, I made some adjustments here. We have a forge now. We have our tannering station. And then we also have our armor's bench. And I have everything in here to make the medium grade armor. I'm going to use Jewel of the West for this. Let's go ahead and just get this crafting. All right, once we get the new set of armor here, we're going to have to go on an adventure too to get more iron. We're going to need it. I haven't done much more to this. I did put a roof on top. I did finish off the year. We also have a stable made. So we can, uh, as soon as we find a horse, which we're going to check out here to see if we can find one real quick too. Which would be awesome. We can get that uh, trained up and good to go as well. Let's go ahead and get this equipped though and see how we look. Ooh, I like this so far. Yeah, that looks noble. Nice. I love it. Doesn't really fit into the uh, the north. I was thinking about doing the wolf uh, armor set again, but that's all right. We're going to stick with this. You go ahead and follow me. Let's go ahead and see how good you are. I'm excited to get you out fighting for us. Let's head across the island. There is some thralls here that we can beat up on, or some exiles, I should say, that we can beat up on. Actually, I think there's a name dude right here. Let's see how we fare against him. Watch us lose our softback or shale back here right on this fight. Yeah, I see you. Oh, he does some good damage. And he sunders. So that should be good. Nice. No level up, but we did get him. We didn't take her out. Did we get anything good? A medium helmet. I can drop this stuff. I don't need it. All right, cool. Let's keep moving. No horse here. Let's swim across and see what we find over here. Looks like there is some more exiles here. If we do find a horse, I'm going to run him back to the stables real quick and get him going. But all right, So I think if I hold down the button here and say attack, target cannot be attacked. Why not? Target cannot... Oh. All right. Nice. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Ooh, it's not hurt my own dude, though. I'll take that. I'm not going to worry about all the stone and stuff, because I do need... Oh, my gosh, my inventory's almost full, too. I'll have to run back and empty that out, I guess, before we leave. Way to pay attention, I guess. This guy should go down pretty quick. <laughs> You just got smashed, sir. So basically now I'm going to just go and work on getting as much iron as we can so we start crafting better weaponry as well as more craftable items. Going to do a little bit of fight here as I'm making my way. I'm actually really happy I have my shell back now because he should be able to help clean up some of this stuff for me. If I just don't kill them all. Nice. Got him leveled up too. Let's go ahead and do some skinning too. Might as well hold on to it. So I should be able to put a lot of my excess excess weight into the shell back. I think he makes a pretty good uh, carrier for us. And he's a little hurt. We'll have to make sure we keep him healed up though. Yeah, so I should be able to just drop that. It's nice. I can do that. I did find one iron node along the way, which is convenient. But if I find a pup, I might take one too, because why not? Might as well have an army. I need to be prepared for the purge when it does come. I pretty much reached where I want to be to do mining. So there's a bunch of just areas right around here to grab nodes. As well as these rock dudes. These rock dudes you can harvest with a pickaxe after you kill them. And they give you a stone or uh, iron. So we'll find out which one this gives here in just a second. It's really nice that he puts a sunder on too. Because that really makes it so much easier to kill these guys. And we got a level from that. Okay, so if we use our pickaxe for this. So these guys are just stone guys. So we don't want to waste our time on him. Or one over there. That's just another stone dude. So let's head this way. And up these cliffs. We'll find ones that are actually made of iron.
Yeah, here we go. Here's a bunch of iron ore for us. And then there should be some of those stone dudes that are actually made out of iron versus stone. A little bit harder to kill, but they do give away quite a bit of iron as well. Here's one of them. You see how much different he looks. Looks like he has iron on him. Let's see if I can't uh, seal up a little bit here. I don't want to run the risk of anything. I like that I'm not doing any damage to my actual shield back with this AoE swing. He does take a little bit of damage though from them. He's got three stacks of Sunder on him. It's crazy how much more damage you start doing when that happens. Oh, come here. I'll take all the coal too I can get. I have no problem with that. Should be some more iron, but let's continue moving on to kill this guy here. Looks like there's some iron over there. What's up, dude? There you go, beat on him. Show me bosses. Three stacks, four stacks. Nice. And then that damage increase starts happening. There's five stacks. Just need some stamina. And one more. There we go. Nice. Let's harvest them down. This is pretty convenient. Let's go ahead and drink and eat, though. There we go. Got a bunch more iron right here. Probably get some stone along the way, but that's all right. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and repair our uh, sword while we're at it. Huge amount of ore right here for us. And we got a baddie coming. Let me go ahead and repair that while we're going to fight. I almost attacked my own dude there for a second. Yeah, yeah, do your rear up. I'm not worried about it. He's almost done. Grab that pickaxe and let's mine them up. Got all kinds of iron ore here yet, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest as much of it as we can. Oh, and we're gonna get teamed up on by somebody. Should get through them right here. Nice. Look, I'm stuck. Just send them over here. Over there. There we go. Might as well check out what's up here. We killed one of the exiles. There's probably more. Some dry wood, which is always good to burn. Dust Devil Ridge. Safari Dancer, it should be pretty easy to get through. Got a level 2 fighter as well. He's done. And he's done, that was pretty easy. Might as well grab the majority of it. Oh, I'm finally overweight. Come over here, and let's just throw that iron there. Throw that in there, oh, this is so nice. Perfect. We have a chest. I'm gonna take the food. Take those. I'm not gonna take everything else. Do you have anything nice on you? I think to die. Yeah, not more iron. Nice. There's also some coal over here. Coal is really good too, because we can use that as a fuel for our furnaces and stuff. 
really anything that requires fuel, which is convenient. There's a bunch of it over here. Check this out. We have a couple hyenas here with the pub. Pup. I'm gonna try to run in and grab that pup first so he doesn't run off. Let's see if I can get lucky here. I might be overweight though once I do it. Come here. Oh, I'm definitely overweight. At least we got through all of them and our follower leveled up, which is nice. All right, cool. Can I give you a pup? That'd be sweet. Oh, I can. I love it. Might as well continue harvesting. So I think we got a pretty good... How much? We got 42 on me, and plus I think like 200 and some on this guy. Yeah, 240. So almost 300 iron, which will turn into like 150 iron bars, which should be plenty to really get us started. Let's make the run back. I would love to have more iron, but... We can't be, you know, beggars can't be choosers. You guys know how it is. We just had a really successful run going to gather material like iron and coal so we can continue to advance our character to get stronger and stronger. But check this out. Look at all the gear I have. Oh, wait, it's not on me. It's on this dude. Look at all the stuff you can carry. 412 uh, hyena pelts, 282 iron stone, more hide, more stone, coal, and a spotted hyena whelp, which we are going to put in our actual... Tamer? What do you call these things? I guess it's taming it, breaking it, whatever you want to say. Go ahead and drop him in there. Let's drop in some food, and he's going to begin that taming process. So that's exciting. I'm happy about that. Let's also go ahead and grab all of our iron and our coal, which is yes, going to obviously put me overweight. I don't know why I did it right here. I could have did it right next to this. Let's just drop that in there and begin that process. 141, that's going to be convenient. We might as well grab all these hyena pelts and begin this process as well. So clearly this is going to take a long time for it to cook up, but I'm going to let it just roll through. Probably in the meantime, just do a bunch of gathering in the area. While I've been waiting for things to finish crafting back at base, I've been running around with my pal Mule here, who's really nice because you can store so much stuff in him. I love it. But anyway, we've been running around trying to find a foal. I'm over in this area now. I'm going to do a little bit of exploring in this area as well as maybe come up in here and see what I can locate. I'm really hoping I can find at least one. If not, oh well. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the things I am working on. This is a really cool area. I like this over here. It'd be really cool to build a base up there sometime, I think. I do kind of have a plan as I've been thinking about this running around is I would like to build different themed bases throughout the maps. I think that'd be kind of cool. So down to where I started building now, I'm gonna do like a sandstone style build. Maybe up here I could do a different uh, type of architecture and so on and so forth. So. Not seeing a full yet, but hopefully we get a little lucky here. Is there a way up owner over here? I wonder if I could climb that. Looks like there might be a ledge there. Could be a ledge there. Let's go check out this ledge and see if it works. Might as well drink some water and fill up the water canteen right away. First time I've seen it rain in this game. I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Let's see, can I make this? I think I can make this climb for sure. Yeah, that's easy enough. So I should be able to make this as well, I bet. Oh, I probably should have rested, though. Uh-oh. Come on. You're almost there. I think we're good. I think we're good. Nice. Nailed it. And uh, I guess we'll come up this one. Uh-oh. I'm out of stamina. I should have rested. Am I, am I such a nut? That should be... That should be good, I think. Yeah. Like how the shell back can climb so well. I mean, look at this. He's just instantly here. It's it's crazy how fast he is. Right? God, I hope so. Okay, let's see. Gonna just try to explore this area as best as possible. Yeah, he's back. Good. Really hope we get lucky and find a fool. There's some deer. That's kind of a good news, I think. I don't know if I should climb up that area, maybe. Would they really be this high up? I don't know. I haven't been lucky at all finding them, so we'll just continue to look. Kind of like the height, though. We can see out there pretty far. Yeah, there's way up here. I don't know how hard the mobs are going to be around here, so hopefully there's no tigers or anything that we have to fight. That'd be super unfortunate, but if there is, we'll do our best to fight them. Hopefully with the shale back, with Mr. Mule here, we will be good to go. Oh my god, there's a foal right there. Okay, the question is, is how hard are these things to kill? Am I doing any damage to him? I am. Okay, good. 
Let's get some stand back. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go grab this thing right now. I don't even care if it puts me overweight. We're gonna beat this guy. Ow. I hope so. Okay, good. Thank you, mule. Can you go in there? Yes, you can. Nice. Get some skinning done. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. I am so freaking happy that we found one. I wonder if I should just look around real quick to see if there's any more. Like, is that jump worth it? I mean, is it really worth it? Is it ever really worth it? Oh, I can easily make it. Okay. I don't know why I was so worried about that. I just wonder if it's worth looking to see if there's any more because then we have more than one. Is that how that works? That hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Let's eat some food. Oh, there's another one. Nice. So this one is just right on the coast. That would have been even easier to get. Let's go grab them. Nice. Come here. Oh, I'm so happy we have two. Okay. Yo, check that out. I'm not worried about that right now, but where is that at? That's on that little island? We need to fight that sometime. All right, well, let's head back. I'm super excited the fact that we found that, so... I'll be back in a jiff. I made it back to base fully healthy. One thing I see though is we need to get some torches and some lights put up. Love the fact that I put my little pain back here. Some steps going up to this area. Now I have a cooking station as well as all my crafting stations can continue to be built out here. But more than anything, the most important part, let's get this put into here. It's probably not enough food, but we'll get more there in a second. Let's get into his inventory and let's take, which one do we want? Cute. Uh. Swift. Ooh, let's do... Uh, let's do Swift. Let's get some speed first. There he goes. He's gonna start taming through the process, which is really good. I wonder if I should make a second one of those right away, just so I can have two done. Nah, I think we'll get done in time. Let's throw some more food in there real fast, though. Right, we got plenty of food right here. Nice. That should be plenty. So the other thing I want to do real quick is let me see do i have a i thought i had a shield somewhere i'm pretty sure i do not there not right there nice so one other thing i want to do here real quick is i want to go over to these camps to see if i can find myself a decent thrall to start uh start breaking here so let's see what we have i'd like to find one that specializes in like blacksmithing or something along that line i've seen them over here before so let's see what we got here First one is what? A fighter? He, she's something. An armorer. So we'll take her. Problem I have run into is I need to build kill. Okay, where's the archer at? Let's take care of the archer first. This is going to be the biggest challenge is trying to kill. Alright, one's down. Can I just, uh, hold on. Let's see here. Can I just beat this person down? Oh, she's gonna go down quick. Where are you going? Don't go off and get hit by something. Don't go be dumb. Okay, got her down. Nice. She's only level one, but still. Look, bro. I don't have time for you. It's cute that you tried, though. It's really cute that you tried. All right, now we have her, so I should be able to walk up here and hit X to drag, which is actually square on the PS5 controller. So we're done playing that way. And let's run her over here real quick. Perfect, so now she's in the Wheel of Pain getting broken. So weird to say that. Let's go ahead and throw some gruel in there. That way we can make sure that she is fed. And that process should be good. I don't want to put the heads in there. Give me those heads back. Come here. There we go. It's probably gonna take a little while for her to get done as well. I don't think I've turned that up at all, did I? Ah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's gonna take a while to get her done. We also have a horse being tamed over here. We also have a dog. How close is the dog getting done? Pretty dang close. I'm really confused right now because I used to have a cub in here. A hyena cub. And he's no longer here. At all. So weird. I still have my horse over here. Long ways to go yet on him. Well, about halfway. It's not too bad. And then taking a look at the Thrall. Moving pretty quick. I must have turned up these settings. Didn't realize it. So Thrall is almost done, which means I can add 
that individual to the work, uh, the armorer's bench in here, which is kind of cool. I like the concept of that. So I think that either opens up more crafting or just makes it cheaper to make things, which is which is which is pretty nice. All right, I think from here though, it's time to get set up to go and see if we can't take out the base over here, the dungeon. I'm gonna go ahead and just work on some inventory, and we're gonna make that happen. As I was preparing, my actual thrall is now done. So let's go ahead and take this armor. And let's go ahead and set her in the armor station and see what we unlock. I don't know if there's anything special or not. Let's see there. Okay, so she's just there working. So I think all she does is just makes things cheaper. All right, it's time to see if we can get to the dungeon now. I'm taking Mule with me just because he does have some little fight in him, which is cool. I did empty his inventory as well. Which means I should be able to store some stuff as we get it. So hopefully I can bring back some more riches with us from the attack. We are here and it's time to see if we can get through this. Hopefully having somebody like Mule along with me is going to make this so much easier than the last time. Oh no, I'm out of stam. That's not good. Taking extra damage for no reason. Ooh. I like the amount of damage that Mule does for me. Ow. Nice combo. Done. You are done, sir. Uh-oh. Mule, you gotta go over there. Thank you. We'll go ahead and just loot everything for right now. We can always drop stuff as we go. It's nice though, as I can also hand it all to Mule. Go ahead and also use up a bandage. Need to stay fully healed for this. Being a little bit more bold too here to see if we can't uh, make some quick work of things having both an iron sword now and mule. Man, I'm taking a lot of damage. I wonder if in the future I should just send mule in to attack first. He's doing some fighting for me, though, at least. I will feast upon you. I will break your blood. This is getting choppy. Let's see if I can't drink a health potion real quick. Mule is taking some damage, but he's getting through it. Let's see here. I gotta see if I can take out this guy. Oh, man. That one attack missing sucks. There we go. I should probably pay attention to what's going on with Mule right now. Not worry about looting. Oh no, he's getting so hurt. Okay, we got through it. Mule is definitely hurt, but hopefully heals up nice and quick. Let's go ahead and eat some food here to gain back some of that for us. I'm gonna drop any of those stolen weapons I'm getting. We don't need them. Same thing with the tools. Yeah, he's healing up quick, which is good. It's nice to see that he heals up so fast. Take out this archer real quick. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I hope Mule's gonna live this. I'm gonna run back as quickly as I can, hoping that Mule does survive. Looks like everything has respawned already. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna get to both Mule and my bag. I have a strong feeling that Mule is dead though. No, he's still over there fighting. Holy crap, we are so screwed. Live, Mule! I'm gonna die again. 
I have no movement. Come on, stand, please stand, plan. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, mule. Run. Look at them all. There's no way mule is still alive, right? There's no way. Can I just recover him? I think there's a way to recover him. Oh, I think I see him back there dead. He is so dead. You son of a guns. I will get vengeance. I will get vengeance on your face. No. <laughs> oh my god. So much for getting vengeance. So today was kind of a weird day. Um, we were able to get our horse. We got a new thrall. We had a mule, but he died. He's dead. He's no longer. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to focus on kind of building up a little bit more. Maybe see if I can find thralls for more of these stations as well, which would be kind of cool. Get the horse done. I need to get to level 20 before I can ride it. So that's another big focus of mine is getting to that point. Hopefully I can get the second horse, which I did luckily before Mule died, move him over here. So he does exist. So once this one is done, which is close, I can start training him as well. So yeah, I have a lot of work I want to get done today to really kind of just build up and be good to go. And then uh, we'll see you tomorrow.